Hello and welcome to another video on an instructional strategy followed in inclusive schools. We have already learnt about other inclusive instructional strategies such as blended learning, circle of friends and cooperative learning in previous videos. One of the most commonly used instructional strategies to deal with students with disabilities or differently able students is remedial teaching. So let's try and understand more about this useful inclusive instructional strategy known as remedial teaching with me, Dr. Sunanda Roy. Remedial teaching is a concept borrowed from the medical field. This instructional strategy is designed to cater to the needs of children unable to keep pace with the teaching learning process in a normal classroom. So it helps the students who are behind the expected level of achievement. Hence teachers use this strategy to help such students strengthen their foundation for future learning. The process of remedial teaching begins with diagnosis of specific difficulties or analysis of students. Based on that, teachers provide suitable remedial measures. Further, teachers also provide support to prevent reoccurring of the difficulties again in the future. It should be noted that along with helping students to overcome their academic difficulties, remedial teaching in an inclusive setup also takes into consideration their social skills. Thus, along with cognitive development, emphasis is also given towards the affective and social development of these students. Remedial teaching in an inclusive setup is used in Individualized Educational Program or IEP. Let's look at the remedial uh, teaching process more in detail. As mentioned earlier, the process of remedial teaching begins with the teacher doing an analysis of the student requiring remedial teaching. This consists of a diagnostic test. It is done in order to identify the hurdle faced in learning and also to understanding the abilities of the student. So in short, the strengths and limitations of the student are found out. The teacher first identifies the prerequisites, that is the previous knowledge of the student required to learn the target content or the new content. That will form the foundation to learn the new content. Through a diagnostic test, the teacher can identify the learning needs of the students. In order to have realistic expectations regarding the student's abilities, the teacher needs to be aware of how far the student has the learning abilities. This ensures that the teacher will not set goals beyond the reach of the student. There are different learning styles which students have. These are preferred ways of learning. Neil Fleming put forth three basic learning styles. These were the visual learners, auditory learners and the kinesthetic learners which is also called as a VAC model. This has also been discussed in one of my previous videos. Identifying the learning styles helps teachers to select appropriate teaching techniques, aids and resources which assist students to learn more effectively. Finally, the teacher needs to find out the interests of the students. This helps in designing the learning experiences which will interest students and be more meaningful. Once the analysis of the students' prerequisites, learning needs, learning abilities, learning styles and interests is done. The next step deals with the planning and preparation before the remedial teaching. This begins with setting the teaching objectives. It should be noted that the objectives should include long-term and short-term objectives. If needed, the remedial teacher can consult other teachers, guidance officers, counselors, parents and even peers while designing the program. Remedial teachers should adapt the curriculum to accommodate 
the learning characteristics and abilities of students. Teaching should not be directed by textbooks. There is no need to cover all the contents in the textbooks as well. Schools can classify the teaching content into core and non-core learning aspects according to the teaching objectives and students' abilities. Core learning aspects require in-depth studies and application, whereas materials in the non-core or advanced learning aspects may be modified or appropriately selected for teaching. Teachers can collaborate with other teachers of other school subjects and use an interdisciplinary approach while designing the program. The next step involves organizing the teaching material. These include various teaching aids, devices or resources which the teacher selects to be used for the remedial teaching program. The information obtained by the teacher while analyzing the needs, learning styles, interests, etc. becomes helpful for the teacher while selecting and organizing the teaching material. There are many teaching methods and strategies that teachers can choose to help students learn. Choosing the appropriate teaching strategy depends on the content and the needs of the students. Remedial teaching is done in small groups. This ensures that individual attention will be given to the differently able or other remedial students. Sometimes using group work helps for the students to learn more effectively. Peers can help by becoming tutors or group members while performing learning activities. These are known as peer support program. We will be discussing them again in detail later. Additional support learning materials need to be collected. If they are not available, ready-made, there is a possibility that the teacher needs to prepare them. Teachers can prepare various games, worksheets, assignments which are tailor-made to suit the needs of particular students. While doing so, the teacher again needs to keep in mind the abilities and the content of the material to be learned. So till now, we have seen how the teachers do the analysis of the student and how planning and preparation before remedial teaching is done. Once the planning and preparation before the remedial teaching is done, the teacher is ready for its implementation. As mentioned earlier, remedial teaching is done individually or in small groups. Remedial teachers may train up peers who perform better in a certain subject to become little teachers. These peer tutors become responsible for helping schoolmates with learning difficulties in group teaching and self-study sessions as well as outside classes. Teachers may collaborate with their colleagues and use the co-teaching strategy to ensure comprehensive instructions are imparted to the remedial students. Remedial teachers may collaborate with special education teachers as per the requirement of students. For example, if a hearing impaired student can follow only sign language, then the remedial teacher can take the assistance of a hearing impaired special education teacher knowing sign language to communicate with the student. And in this way, teachers can collaborate either with one another as in court teaching or there could be more than two teachers, three or four teachers together collaborating, which is called as team teaching. While remedial teaching, the teacher should be alert and observe the behavior of the students. This becomes more essential while dealing with students exhibiting behavioral problems. The teacher must always observe the performance of the pupils in class and their behavior in groups. 
the remedial program is very close to a counseling session. Thus, teachers need to establish a close relationship with pupils, develop mutual trust, and listen carefully to what they say. A good rapport helps pupils understand the effect of their behavior on others as well as towards themselves. Along with observation, teachers need to use evaluation. By means of evaluation and assessment, remedial teachers can know the learning progress of the student. If the program is successful in achieving the target goals, then the remedial teacher proceeds to an advanced learning or new learning topic, which leads to new planning and preparation. However, if the student shows obstacles in learning, then the remedial teacher goes back to check if there were any errors in the analysis of the student. The remedial teacher follows the same procedure from analysis of the student for revising and adapting the teaching plan accordingly. Thus, the process of remedial teaching is like a cycle. So it's cyclic in nature. I know this diagram looks a little complicated, doesn't it? So let's try to break it up into steps. We can say that there are five main steps in remedial teaching process. The first step is analysis of the student. The second step is planning and preparation before the remedial teaching. The third one is the actual teaching. That is the actual remedial teaching. The fourth one is observation or evaluation. And the fifth one is deciding the next course of action depending upon the achievements of goals. So I think now this diagram looks a little bit easier, right? Because it consists of five main steps. Remedial teaching thus helps in finding out the strengths and limitations of the students. The information gathered about the students is used by the remedial teachers to design different activities accordingly to help students learn in an effective manner. Remedial teachers must keep in close contact and collaborate with other teachers. For example, they may discuss on the teaching plans, teaching learning progress of these students, tests and examination questions, students' problem behavior and so on. They should also discuss or share their experiences with parents and peers to find out ways to improve students' learning and behavior. Hence, like all inclusive instructional strategies, remedial teaching is also a collaborative effort to help students deal with their goals. So this diagram actually gives us a summary of what is the concept of remedial teaching. The diagram regarding the process of remedial teaching and a more detailed description regarding the process is available on this web page which is uh, given by the government of Hong Kong. I hope you have watched my videos on the other instructional strategies used in inclusive education like blended learning, cooperative learning and circle of friends. If you have missed them, don't worry. You will find the links in the description box given below and also on the screen. Hope you liked the video and in case you found the content useful, please feel free to share it. Thank you for watching the video. Take care and stay safe. Thank you.